Hi, I'm Dana Jay, and this is Henry Ford Health System News. We bring you stories of how our team members are improving lives through the science and art of care. You may have heard by now that Henry Ford has commissioned 10 works of art to memorialize the contributions and sacrifices that team members have made throughout the pandemic. Here's a look at one of those works of art in progress. Tiny tiles are coming together to tell a pandemic story in Sue Majeski's studio in St. Clair Shores. I hope when people see this finished piece on the art, on the, of art on the wall, I hope that they will see themselves in it. Majeski is creating a mosaic that will hang at Henry Ford Macomb Hospital. Three panels of glass, tile, and mirror will depict people moving in the same direction. They all start gathering together, and by the farthest panel, they all start moving into a line. Everybody in every walk of life, all of the people that cared for the people that were sick throughout the, all of this COVID. The COVID Memorial Art Project is an extension of Henry Ford's Healing Arts Program, which uses art to transform clinical spaces into unique, welcoming, and warm environments for patients and families. The hope is contributing to the creation of some of these projects and pausing to reflect on the finished works will bring team members a moment of peace. Each artist in the COVID Memorial Art Project was selected by a committee of team members at the location where their work will eventually be displayed. The committee at Macomb voted unanimously for Majeski's Mosaic, an especially meaningful honor for the artist who worked for another health system until COVID triggered layoffs. I watched and I watched all the medical people that I know and how they reacted and what they did and they all moved forward. Majeski works almost exclusively with glass, breaking tiles so that she can arrange them into something beautiful. She hopes her creation reminds patients and team members who may feel broken after the pandemic of their power to overcome. They, they will see in the reflection themselves, but they will also see in the movement and the way all the people, the wide variety of the population moves together towards whatever is coming. All of the artists commissioned for the COVID Memorial Art Project are from Southeast and Central Michigan. The project is funded through the COVID-19 Relief Fund. At the very beginning, it was fear. Uh, there was a lot of fear amongst healthcare professionals, our loved ones, the community. What was this? We didn't know. This video chronicling Henry Ford Wyandotte's journey through the first wave of the pandemic has earned the hospital a gold medal. The 10 minute video features team members recalling some of the most harrowing challenges of the early days. The worst day for me was the day that I knew we had six patients who we were gonna terminally wean off the vent. And I know our morgue only holds four. The project stood out among more than 4,400 entries submitted to the 38th Annual Healthcare Advertising Awards Committee. The award recognizes the impactful role healthcare communication plays in community wellness. COVID has changed me as a healthcare provider and a person. We are grateful for all of our providers who continue to work through this pandemic, no matter where you are or what your individual story may be. The next chapter in this pandemic story will depend a lot on how many people get vaccines. With demand slowing at mass vaccination sites, the Henry Ford team is hosting pop-up clinics for our community partners. That includes Detroit Public Schools. The vaccine vans are traveling to schools located in areas with the lowest vaccine rates. The team says they aren't always super busy, but every shot counts. We still take every shot as a win, and at the end of the week, we could have done 50 to 100 people, which is still better than if zero. The team has administered about 27,000 doses at approximately 50 community locations since the vaccines became available. Now they will also come to your home and vaccinate anyone in the household over the age of 12 who chooses to receive the vaccine. Community members can call 313-876-1363 or email getyourshot at hfhs.org to schedule a convenient appointment. Okay, time for the featured photo. A big shout out going out to team members from across the system who volunteered for cleanup duty. They recently took time out of their weekends to pick up litter along the highway near Hamtramck. They collected 50 bags of trash. Way to go, guys. 
We want to see what you and your teammates are up to, so send us a story idea or your photos to news tips at hfhs.org. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you around. <laughs>